Good morning, guys. Okay, so, wow. Every time I look at that fan, I'm like, why is that there? We're just gonna have to deal. Anyways, um, happy, I don't even know, Thursday. My new thing in the morning, this has really been changing the game for me, is, okay, also the fact that my hands are so pale in comparison to my body, let's just forget that. Um, I wake up and I immediately put on my workout clothes and then I go read and I typically will immediately work out after that or if I have to do a few work things, I'll do a few work things and then I'll work out. And then after that, I shower and get ready for the day. I up a little bit later today because I couldn't fall asleep last night, guys. I feel like we're all having sleeping problems, but I couldn't fall asleep. And instead of like taking something or whatever, I ended up just working on the I Love You So Much Instagram because I'm so tired of it looking like trash. So I fixed that. Anyways, I've been reading. Again, I'm reading The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. It's so good. I did my normal like Debo and stuff too. Today, actually, a new podcast episode went up. So for those of you guys who are like wanting more faith content and like, or you just like want anything that's encouraging and like life is really hard right now and things are just like really, you know, life is just really confusing and overwhelming right now. Listen to that episode. It's really encouraging. Regardless of what you believe or anything like that, like it's not pushy or anything like that at all, I promise. So I'm going to do my Melissa Wood Health workout. I've been really, really liking it. I'm going to have that podcast linked down below. I would love if you guys went and listened to it, but yeah, I'm putting this stuff up. I normally read in my office, but I just really wanted to come downstairs today. I don't really know why. Anyways, um, I'm going to do my Melissa Wood Health workout. Like I was saying, it's actually amazing, and I've really been loving them. Um, a lot of you guys have been doing them as well. I really want to get her on the podcast, actually. I think I'm going to like reach out today. I need to do some podcast outreach. I think I'm going to maybe record remotely. I don't know. We will see, guys. Uh, that is it. I'm going to work out really quick, and then after that, I'm going to shower and get ready for the day. I'm excited because I'm going to try out my new Drunk Elephant hair care stuff. I showed you guys in the last vlog, and I'm really excited. I also need to edit that vlog. Here we are. I feel bad vlogging right now because like my vlogs are just literally the same thing every single day pretty much or they're just really boring and I'm not doing anything so I'm really sorry but I don't know let me know what you guys want all right guys ignore my bun like literally what is that um I just finished my workout and it was so good seriously they just make me feel so relaxed like but also it's a really good workout. I don't know how to describe it. Anyways, I'm gonna go upstairs. It's literally like already noon. Um, I'm gonna shower. I think I'm gonna take Coco on a walk. Then I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna get some stuff done today. Also, I got this stuff. I did a live stream or a live stream. I did an IG live with Quentin yesterday and all of you guys are telling us to make the TikTok coffee. So I ended up getting the stuff for TikTok coffee because we had to run to CVS and they had it there. So um, I'm gonna make that today really trendy hip i'm gonna I'll be honest though making tiktoks is a lot harder than it seems like i still am, like don't have the hang of it i have a profile i have tiktoks but like i feel like i could do a lot better so i'm working on it all right guys so this is my outfit for today that i just laid out um i'm so sorry for putting these on the thing i was just taking a photo okay anyways i just have this cute little misguided pink set i got recently they have the best sweats i literally got in a few vlogs ago you guys saw 11 items for a hundred dollars with four pairs of really great quality sweats like i couldn't believe it so if you guys want to go back to that you can watch that haul and see if you guys want to shop anything because it's literally so freaking cute i want more but um, yeah, I just love you. So I'm gonna go shower and then I'll talk to you guys after. All right guys, I'm out of the shower. I'm wearing my misguided set. Super cute at my slippers. I'm actually going to throw on a jacket and then take Coco on a little walk, put some AirPods in, listen to a podcast. But honestly, I'm feeling really good. Normally when I sleep in, I'm really anxious because I'm like, oh, I have to do this, I have to do this, whatever. The ruthless elimination of hurry is really helping me. Not that it makes you lazy by any means, but I think it's just helping my anxiety. So, guys, I literally feel like Paris Hilton or something. I have my Uggs on, of course. Misguided set, and then I just throw on my favorite Brittany Mobile jacket. So, we're gonna go on a walk. Coco gets so excited every time I put on my Uggs because she knows that we're going on a walk. So, she just jumped up. Currently listening to OK Sis. Mood, of course. Oh! That was my AirPod. Okay. All right, guys, so, oh, I don't even think I showed you guys this. So I do have my little side tables. I'm not obsessed with these. These are really less for look and more for functionality because um, my chair is supposed to come next week. And then um, that's where I'm going to do like my morning reading and everything. And it's going to be like really cute. So anyways, I got this just to have like my coffee, my breakfast, like my Bible books, all that stuff. So anyways, 
Um, I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog and get that all good to go. And actually, I need to send out the newsletter. Guys, seriously, I think, one, it's a combination of I always end up vlogging the same days. Like, um, so, like, I've been vlogging Thursdays, I guess, so I'm, like, working in the newsletter or whatever. But I'm so sorry that these vlogs are all literally the same. I just, like, don't know what to say. I just, like, don't know what to do about it. Like, do you guys hate them? Are they really boring? I don't know. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to import some footage, finish the mailing. The mailing? What? Finish the mailing list so i'm gonna finish the newsletter i've really been loving these if you guys haven't joined the um mailing list you guys really should i think you would like them if you watch these videos um it's just like a fun little email to get every week with a nice quote it's like a nice little inspo thing but also if you haven't listened to the episode the i love you so much episode please go listen you guys will love it all right so i finished editing that video and it's actually pre-uploaded now i don't even have it up anymore so all of that is good to go still haven't done the newsletter but i'm gonna take a break for a second and then come back to that just had some lunch and we are actually about to read but before i do that i'm gonna make the whipped coffee that everyone has been talking about on tiktok i'll probably make a tiktok of this just not the first time because what if i make it horrible you know so we have sugar Instant coffee, this is exactly the one that everyone uses. Hot water and then milk. But honestly, the thing about this is that I just always have problems with this oat milk, like oat beverage in coffee. So hopefully it works out. We'll see how good this is. If I, I mean, it looks good on TikTok, but I'm just like worried for myself, you know? It's also very important to note that I don't have a whisk or measuring uh, spoons. So. So I'm gonna use this big spoon because this is typically one tablespoon. So you need two tablespoons, instant coffee, hot water, and sugar. Actually, let me triple check. <laughs> I also don't have um, ice, so it's fine, guys. We're fine. But anyways, you need two tablespoons, sugar, hot water, and instant coffee. So I'm gonna start off with the instant coffee. Okay, I hope that this is actually, I mean, this spoon is very large, but I hope that this is actually what we need. Two, okay. Now, I have hot water in here that I'm just gonna somehow, I guess I'll just do that, okay? All right, I don't have a whisk, so I'm just gonna quickly um, whisk this together with a fork, BRB. All right, guys, so I just fake whisked that together for quite some time. Um, definitely would be easier with one of those mini frothers. I'm gonna get one, I think, off Amazon. But here we go. This just took a little bit of time. Honestly, I have no idea, but you just keep whisking. You think it's never gonna happen, and then it does. So I also don't have ice, which is really unfortunate, but I'm going to put in some oat milk. I feel like that's kind of a lot, but it's okay. Here's the oat milk. Here's the true test, guys. I just mix it all together. Here's the thing. It's a very sugary drink, obviously, and I don't really normally drink sugary drinks. It's pretty good. I'm getting the milk frother. I just ordered it on Amazon because it would make it better, and then I'll try it again with that. Um, it is definitely good. I just like am normally used to drinking black coffee. I just wanted to be trendy though, you know? Alright guys, here is the newsletter. I'm about to send it out. If you guys want, you guys can join the mailing list, which is always linked down below. Guys, Quentin just <laughs> so cute. He just made dinner, John and Vinny style. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Are you gonna do one of your Instagram stories? Maybe. Maybe. Wow. If you guys don't know, John and Vinny's is like one of our favorite. It's probably, I mean, that and Honor Bar, our two favorite restaurants. Um, it's in LA, but it's kind of like family style. So you just pick what you want, but that's so Good morning, cute. everyone. I look so crazy with this lip color, but it's the only like chapstick I had in my room. My hair is still in a braid. Um, I just woke up. I'm in workout clothes, of course. Um, it's like 8.30. I'm gonna go downstairs and Honestly, I'm gonna read briefly, but like for some I oh my gosh guys, okay So I couldn't sleep last night at all and I was like what will put me to sleep and then I realized my excel class Duh, I hate that class So then I started doing so much of the excel stuff and then I'm like wait I'm like really feeling good about this because I know what I'm doing So I'm in the middle of like an assignment 
Anyways, I'm just kind of on like a school roll and I have a lot of homework to do and I'm kind of actually feeling like doing it. So I'm going to go briefly read, start off my day, and then I'm going to go do a lot of homework because I'm just like, I need to just get it done while I'm in this mood and then I'll like work out and stuff. I mean, we, we need to go grocery shopping tonight. Like literally don't have any food. So that's going to be that. I need to capitalize off of like being in the mood to go do a school. Also, I just posted a new vlog. Um... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and have been enjoying the vlogs. Let me know if you guys like more freak- what? Let me know if you guys- but if you guys like daily vlogs and more frequently or vlogs like of every few days of a few days. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, it is 10 14. Still doing this. I only have a few questions left just for Excel. I think I need to write a paper today and yeah, but honestly, I'm really glad that I'm getting us out of the way. If you guys have ever taken an Excel class in college, it's literally the worst class you can ever take. All right, guys. So I've actually been an adult this morning, and I opened up, like, new savings accounts and stuff and was just doing some finance stuff because I mentioned I'm working with a financial advisor. And, yeah, but it's currently April 3rd. Dallas just extended the stay-at-home thing until May 20th. So I literally just want to cry, honestly. I know, obviously, staying at home is, like, the safest. Like, we have the easiest job, 100%. But, like, still, it's just the fact that this is, like, so scary. And it's been extended that long is just, like, really terrifying. I just, like, can't even imagine, like, what life is going to be. So, yeah. Hi, guys. So it is now Saturday. Okay, so I stopped vlogging yesterday after we talked. Um, honestly, I ended up just getting like kind of bad news and then I was like not in the mood and then I got out of it And then I went grocery shopping came back watch Nashville season five guys Okay, so if you've watched Nashville, I will be done with this series. I promise within the next week So I'll stop talking about it. Hopefully. Um, oh my gosh I got to season five the really really heartbreaking part and I literally cried for like two hours in bed while I was watching Nashville And then I faced my friend Val because we had like a FaceTime date and we talked for three hours and it literally made me feel so 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 much better i cannot even describe how much better i i you know those friends that you all like talk to and hang out with and you always leave feeling like you can take on the world that's about for me but this facetime in particular i think was just like one of our best chats so anyways um that kind of inspired me to sit down and chat with you guys really quick before i end off this vlog um i know it was shorter than normal let me know what you guys think if you guys like shorter or longer vlogs or whatever but i know right now on the internet um a lot of people are like this is the time to buckle down and like start this project and start this project and blah 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 and then you know and when I kind of first went to quarantine I'm like I'm gonna stay so routine I'm gonna work I'm gonna get all the stuff done that I wanted to do for forever this is finally time I have the time and blah 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 and like I think what we also forget is like we have so like like we have ample amount of time because we literally are not leaving our houses at all so that's one thing but two I think it ended up with me personally like just speaking personally that I ended up like being really hard on myself I'm like why am I feeling this way why am I not productive and it's like obviously we are literally in a global pandemic like none of us have seen any of this I keep like waiting for my parents to give me advice and like they can't give me advice because they've never seen this either and so it's just like a really really weird time and I think it's really easy to put pressure on ourselves to perform a certain way or to get a certain amount of things done and I will say like I am sure there are going to be huge companies and huge like amazing ideas and innovation and all this stuff coming from this time 100 percent what i mean is that like that is not always meant for everyone i especially when i moved back to texas i had like a great childhood but there was definitely a lot of like really heavy things that happened to me and so i felt like i had dealt with them like i went to therapy a ton i did all these things i you know i um grew in my faith, left the faith, like I did so many things and I was like, oh, I've definitely like dealt with this and then I moved back and I, you know, certain things started coming back up and I, I want to talk about this because I know a lot of you guys are in college and you guys are now back living home and I know just by the nature or just in general, a lot of people are staying at home, by the nature, I think of going back home, it brings up a lot of things. Um, and so when I moved back here, there was a lot of things that I thought that I had like fully dealt with that maybe we're kind of rising back to the surface and then i on top of that since i'm such a like overachiever and i'm so pro therapy and i'm so pro all these things i kind of felt like i was a failure 
because I was like, okay, I'm literally preaching on the internet to like go take care of yourself. And then I come back and like, I'm dealing with all these problems that like I thought I had dealt with. And I think that there's different levels and phases to healing. Like, I don't think I'm actually a failure. I think that you deal with certain things as a child. And then when you become an adult, I think certain things hit you a little bit different and then you have to deal with them and heal in like a different way. So I think personally for me, um, obviously I love routines. I love being productive. I love work. I love what I do. So like that's not something I'm not going to be doing, but I'm not... I'm not going to try to be this like extra crazy productive person that I thought I was going to be going into this and that I think is like a lot of social media. And I think, again, like not attacking those who are doing that. Like I don't mean that at all, but I also, I know there's a lot of us who actually just need this time to just be and to heal and to take care of ourselves and to figure things out. And like, if you're just like doing bare minimum every single day, like congrats, you're still making it through. Like this is a really weird time. We don't know what's going on. And I just think that there's no need to put all this added pressure on yourself and I was personally putting all this added pressure on myself of like I need to do this I need to do this and then when I really sat down I was like you know this is literally probably the one this is the one time in history where like I you can't like there isn't FOMO you know like you when you know when you're like oh I wish I just had time to deal with this and like be by myself and like I'm not missing out on things it's like we actually have that time right now like there's literally no FOMO. Like there's nothing else we can do. Everyone's in the same place. We're all at the same, like none of us can leave our houses. And so with that being said, I don't think you are a failure if you are not like so productive and doing all these things and whatever. Like for me personally, it's like, I'm just like diving a lot deeper into my faith. And like, I think I'm, I feel like I'm just kind of in like a new phase of my life almost. And I'm dealing with a lot of things that like I need to and like healing from a lot of things. And I also think in that time, I'll probably will get new ideas and I probably will um, have, you know, just whatever. I'll grow from this and whatever that might be, like whatever it's supposed to be. But I am just really focusing on not putting all this crazy added pressure on myself because we have more time. Because yes, we do have more time, but we're also in a global pandemic. This is a really weird time, especially if you're someone who... Um, deals with like mental health and all that stuff. So I think for me personally, I'm making this clip because I am working on like myself and just like dealing with the things that I need to be dealing with and healing from all of that it, so that I'm able to grow and that when all of this is done, I'm just like kind of the best that I can be and the healthiest that I can be personally because that's all we can do. And like, this is literally the one time in history that you can do that without like quote unquote missing out on a bunch of things. So I'm like this now or never, you know what I mean? But Anyways, I hope that kind of made sense or resonated with a few of you. I know I felt like I was kind of alone on this and I was like, I really feel like this um, quarantine or social distancing or whatever, the stay at home, whatever you're calling it, I really feel like this is going to bring out a lot of things in me that kind of needed to be brought out. And then I saw someone post about that in a Facebook group and they're like, I feel like I'm home. I'm dealing with a lot of things. Like I'm back where I used to be when all those things happened and like I'm dealing with them now and I feel like I'm going to be such a different person and this is actually going to be a really big healing process for me and all that stuff. So um, with that being said, yeah, um, I'm just not trying to like start the next Uber on this quarantine and like if that happens, that happens and that's amazing and I think it's so amazing for those people that that is happening but like for me personally, I really just feel like this is a time where I'm like healing and I literally had this whole revelation last night and I already feel like so much lighter. I can't even describe it and I just have all these other ideas. Also, random, I think that my friend Val and I are gonna start like a Bible study on Zoom. Today is Sunday as you guys are watching this. It will be on Tuesday. So follow my Instagram because that's what I'll post about it. I'm not gonna like only post that stuff on my YouTube channel, guys, don't worry. But for those of you who like care and would be interested in whatever, I think we're gonna start that um, Tuesday night. So anyways, follow my Instagram because I'll be posting all the updates on there. But I love you guys. Comment down below how you guys are doing in quarantine and just like what's going on with you guys. Would love to know, would love to hear, would love to chat. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna drink my coffee. Real note, it's just been a very, literally the past 24 hours alone, a very big healing process. And I think, a lot of times, um, I don't know who this is for, but like a lot of times I feel like I'm wrestling with things, like wrestling with God or like really just like questioning and thinking really hard about certain things in my life and I'm so afraid that I'll lose those certain things because I'm wrestling with them in my head and my soul so it's like, wait, maybe this isn't meant to be or whatever it might be and then I was just thinking literally like 20 minutes ago, like 
you know, every other time I have really wrestled with something, like there's been so many times where that's only come out stronger and that's only been more solidified. Like maybe the whole point of me wrestling with this is just to like kind of put it in its right place in my life or to reaffirm even though I think I'm going to lose it or to just have a healthier view of it, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, it's a weird time, but I love you guys. I'm here for you guys. Join the Facebook group if you guys um, want we talk all the time in there it's really comforting and it's cool and it's just like a good escape from what's going on but I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon bye